Welcome to Gardening with Heidi. One of the most important things you can do in your Florida landscape is mulch. Now you're gonna need to mulch one, possibly two times a year. So uh, if you don't wanna pay a landscaper to come and do it, you can do it yourself. So I'm gonna just walk you through some easy steps that you as a homeowner can potentially do to uh, do this yourself and make it a fun project. So mulch is super important. It keeps your plants healthy. It keeps the grass off your house so you don't have mold growing up. So my first recommendation for you if you're gonna mulch is to have your power wash. You know, you wanna power wash your house in Florida because mold will get on it. The dirt comes in the rainy season. So it's really important to power wash your house and your soffits once a year. So you do that, then you get your mulch. You can see this, all this driveway was power washed. So what I recommend is if you have these pallets of mulch delivered, um, you're gonna one, you wanna price it out. So you wanna look at all your different stores and see what the shipping costs is. There is typically a lot of shipping costs in there. So even if you go in with a neighbor, uh, you can cut that in half and get your price, your project price down. So I recommend uh, you wanna communicate with the driver as to where to drop the load. Cause if you're not around, they might just drop it in the middle of your driveway. And then when you need to go to work, you can't get out. So you wanna definitely communicate with your driver where you want your mulch. And I suggest also putting some cardboard down. Okay, so this will help uh, the staining from the, the pallet if you can't get to your project right away. So that's a great place to just let them know where to drop it and it's also gonna protect your driveway. So these pallets come pre-wrapped, so I suggest you do not take the wrapping off until you're ready to use it because what can happen is, is it rains and they get really heavy. So I think this pallet probably has like 70, 74, 75 uh, bags of mulch in there. It's a little bit easier to carry lots of bags or wheelbarrow them around than just get a dump load with a truck. It's cheaper that way, but then you're, you're using your back to uh, move it twice. So this is one way to do. We're just gonna walk around uh, and just show you what it might look like. So come on, follow me. So before you order that mulch, you're gonna wanna make sure your beds are prepped. So you're gonna wanna make sure there's, there's, you get the weeds out as much as possible and that your edging is good. So if, if you have a land, uh, scape company that is uh, that you use to take care of your yard. You're going to want to coordinate with that and have them do an extra deep uh, edging to get the that nice line. And you're going to want to have them, you know, potentially get any weeds out. And you're going to want to get those beds set and as weed free as possible before setting the uh, compost down. So we just came here. We're going to walk around. I'm going to show you. Um, you can see here this. We trim this back a little bit. Um, it was, you know, leaning out here and, and they couldn't get in here to edge. So this is what happens. This Floratam grass was all the, going all the way back into there and, and they couldn't get to it. So we're going to clean up these edges, make it nice and clean and uh, make it easier to maintain on the long run. And it's just going to look nicer. So as you go around, um, we got some extra tools that you're going to need. Um, and you might not have all of these, but I have this kind of neat tool that you can use for edging like this. And if you don't have an electric one, and it just, you can just clean up some lines real easy like that, uh, just to make a nice edge. You probably need a couple rakes to like rake it in at the end. I have some other tools here. Um, keep following me. You're gonna wanna remove, um, you know, anything that's on there. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take this off and pu pull it off so we can get under there nice. And so come and follow me in the back that you can see back here is where uh, this is something, a trick that you can use to really help your mulch go farther. So follow me. Okay, so um, we're gonna uh, wanna, we're just gonna mulch back in here, um, get it off of the fence. It's gonna make it a lot easier to mow. Also, if you have any of these trees in your yard, this is a, a live oak, uh, which has typically come standard in any Cape Coral backyard, in any new build. So these get huge, they shade out your grass, it begins to die off. If you focus in down here, you'll see it's very sparse so it just becomes uh, an issue with all of the shade in here this grass doesn't do well so um, we're just going to just bring a nice mulch line in here and put some accent plants in here uh, and it's going to look great so what we did here was you can start gathering all your cardboard from Amazon and you wanna rip off all the tape and you wanna use cardboard that's just the brown kind and doesn't have a lot of 
uh, extra ink or anything like that on the cardboard. So you're gonna want brown cardboard, no tape, no staples, and you're gonna lay it down. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna help guard the weeds from coming up, especially from the neighbors on the other side. Over here, you can see they have a fence. So their grass is coming up right next to it and it's gonna, it's gonna run. It's gonna run under it and it's gonna come in there. So we're putting at least one layer, two layers of cardboard on that edging just to help protect it so we don't have to spray it or be dealing with uh, the management of that. So what we'll do is we came around and we removed the grass here. We're gonna edge, we're gonna come around, but come over this way and you'll see this edge here, we had our, the lawn person came in and just put a kind of a line here. So we're gonna either, we'll probably tear back this grass a little bit, cardboard the rest and, and do a nice deep line and just cardboard heavy over that um, and save our hands and the manual labor. But, you know, if you can and you can do that, that's great, but we're just, we're gonna kind of go the easy route. So that's where cardboard can be your friend because it really inhibits the light penetrating down and feeding those grass roots. And if we mulch it heavy um, and over time, it'll, it'll just won't live there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're edging the corners. We're going around the whole perimeter. So one of my recommendations, if you have a house here in Southwest Florida is, Typically they'll standard, they'll just put that grass right up to your house. So when you're driving around, look and see, you'll see houses that have grass right up next to their house. Guess what? They're irrigating up to your house because they got to keep that grass alive. So then you got water, you got dirt when they come in and they weed whip it and you get mold, mold growing all the way up the side of your house. So this is a good solution over here. just create a border. So when they come with their weed whacker and their edger, they're not up against your paint. They're not kicking it, you know, you can even come farther. They're not kicking it up on your thing. And especially too over by a lanai, you don't want a weed whacker hitting your screen because then you're gonna be replacing your screen. So my recommendations, if you are building a new house, ask your builder, hey, can we put a perimeter border around my house and do mulch? They might throw it in, they might add it, they either have to grass it or mulch it, it's probably around the same price. It doesn't hurt to ask, because it's gonna save you in the long run with maintenance, headaches, painting, power washing, and it's just it just looks really nice too. So, a couple tips, keep following along. We're gonna demonstrate the what it looks like post, post mulching, and I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope these tips help you in your Florida home. Do you see what's missing? Well, all of that mulch. So we're going to do a walk around and show you the finished project of laying the mulch. So mulch is gold. You're going to want to see it. So follow me. We're going to take a look. We did two full pallets of mulch and did the good edging on this. So this yard should uh, easily just be able to keep the maintenance up. This line, we took this back, we trimmed these down. Yeah, they don't look so great right now, but once they get some water and they get refreshed, those nice purple flowers are gonna come in there. Uh, we pulled it out. Super easy to maintain this now with an edger. You can clearly see where the edges are. And this project took, took about five hours with four to five people. Uh, constantly working so it, it does take quite a bit of work and especially if you if you want to spend that extra time getting your edges in and getting any grass and weeds out it just takes a little bit more effort but I highly recommend doing that because it's going to sustain the uh, duration of the mulch life when you don't have all those extra plants under there like reaching for the sun so we just mulched around the plants and the backyard is just looking fantastic we're going to go all the way to the back side and then come around the back uh, yeah, so it turned out great. Brought the line out a little bit on this side. We moved these plants out. Wow, you can really see this, this, uh, this oak tree is just dropping all of this stuff. So if you have really bad allergies at this time of the year, these oak trees are just dropping pollen like crazy. That was just, that's like less than a week old. So uh, we pulled this, this line out a good six, eight inches by hand filled out this nice corner to make it nice and easy. Basically just a straight line down to the back, no plants on that side, but we wanted to make sure to get all the grass out of there and that all the equipment was all cleaned up. So we also 
went around these trees just to give them a little bit of, you know, you don't want any trimmers or your, your, your uh, lawn guys coming in with their big mowers and nicking any of the roots. So when you mulch trees like this, you're gonna wanna make sure you don't mulch up to the bark. So it's a good, you know, rule of thumb, like to be a hand or a hand width away. You can see this is just, there's nothing there. So the mulch line started here and you can see that grass is thinning. So you just kinda gotta pick a nice, nice circle or shape around it that looks good. So this was the majority of the work back in here in this corner, cause this had grass going all the way to the wall. So we actually hunt, we hand dug all this out and uh, we, we cardboarded this really heavily and just mulched it real thick because we had a lot of mulch on those two pallets. So we're doing it real thick. Um, they're gonna potentially do more planting here in the future. So we're just kind of prepping it and just gonna let this, this rest a little bit, kill that grass off before we try to put some more plants in here uh, to fill this corner up with some nice color. So you can see we brought this lot out too to match the distance on that other one. This was a little bit different. So once we laid it in, you just, we took a hose and sprayed it off the, off the fence and kind of settled it in a little bit and brought this line out a little bit just to kind of get some nice curves going on instead of straight lines. You can see the butterflies are happy. They love this plant. Uh, so I have yet to figure out what this plant is. I'll, I'll hopefully fi figure that out and maybe let you know what that is. But these, these butterflies love this tree, it's cool. So, and then over here is nice, this corner. We brought it out a good couple feet and just kind of rounded it up and kind of uh, matched in here with the neighbors landscaping a little bit and just kind of tied it in. And it was a great day. It was a lot of fun. We had a wonderful time and the homeowners are super happy and they just are really ecstatic and happy. So I highly encourage uh, mulching in your yard, um, taking good care of your trees, making for easier uh, maintenance in your home and landscape, uh, keeping those weeds from coming under the fence, just makes it so much easier to maintain your heart, your yard. So let's get mulching, keep gardening.